Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Today, we have the privilege of being at Pyramid Farms outside of Chico, California. The farmer that I get to work with today is Matthew Martin. And this is Matthew right here. Matthew, say hello to our viewers. How are you doing? We're doing great, guys. The way I found out about him is that I was reading a article in Grow Magazine, which is a publication of Fine Gardening, the Totten Group back in Newtown, Connecticut, and there was a feature in the back of that magazine about growing carrots. Well, we're standing in front of the real deal. Here's the carrot field right back here. Tell us a little bit about these carrots and how you became, became a great carrot farmer. Uh, it was mostly by accident. <laughs> how, tell me how it was accident. Uh, well, I used to not be able to uh, grow, uh, grow a carrot to save my life. Um, but uh, I tried and tried, and uh, actually a f good friend of mine uh, gave me some tips on germinating them. And I tried it, and it worked. All of a sudden, I can grow carrots. So is this one of the things that you're most well-known for in the culinary community here in Chico, is the carrot crop? Yeah, our, our, we of all the crops that we grow, the carrots have the highest demand, and people go crazy for them. So, um, so what are some of the basics that anybody that aspires to grow good carrots, what are some of the things they got to know to do so? Uh, the biggest thing is, the, the biggest misnomer is that you have to have sandy soil to grow carrots. Everyone thinks you have to have sandy soil, you don't. I have actually, actually my soil is a class three heavy clay. Um, so to overcome the heavy clay, you just have to prepare the soil right. And so with carrots, it's all about fine tilled soil. Um, deep and fertile. So when you say deep, how deep do you go down? And tell us about fertility and what you do to make sure fertility is where it needs to be in your soil. Um, I like to make sure I get at least a good 8 inch deep till. Uh, I'm really happy if I get a good 12 inch till on it. Um, I use a feather meal for nitrogen, uh, which is nice. It doesn't break down too fast. Uh, carrots will get hairy roots and split roots if you've got uh, too much available nitrogen and uh, the feather meal takes uh, a little bit, breaks down a little bit slower. Um, and then of course I always do a, a soil test to see if I need uh, phosphorus. Right now my soil is real good in phosphorus so I don't have to add any phosphorus. Um, and then I uh, fertigate with uh, potassium because I've got a, my soil here, soil here is, is low in potassium and it'll bind potassium up. So I have to actually irrigate with potassium uh, you know, every month to, to, to keep the potassium available. And what does, uh, what does the carrot do with phosphorus as far as what happens if you have a phosphorus deficiency or an overabundance of phosphorus? What are the symptoms you see? Uh, well, with phosphorus deficiency, you're just not going to get the size out of them. I mean, uh, carrots do like, you know, uh, fertile ground. They just don't want tons of nitrogen, but they want, you know, everything pretty much well balanced and, and available and in, in good amounts. They throw all their energy at the beginning to grow in the tops. And then right now, the, the roots are just about full sized. They'll grow, still grow. Um, but as, it, uh, as the season gets colder, we just started our frost season. Um, and the, the tops are going to start to die off. Uh, pull all that energy out of the tops, store it into carrots, convert all that plant energy into sugar. That's what makes our carrots super sweet. So here we are, we're uh, near Halloween, and uh, how long have these carrots been in the ground? Uh, I plant my carrots in, in three different segments, and my first segment goes in the ground. I start planting in the middle of July, and then I'm done by the, um, by the end of August. I do three plantings two weeks apart. Um, and since it's, it's really hot here in Chico, and so during the middle of the day, during the hot time of the day, I have to run irrigation on them to keep the soil temperature in a nice little sweet spot. Carrots like 85 degrees, um, so I can, if I keep that, that soil cool, because if, if I don't do that, my soil temperature will be like 95, 99 right. degrees, it'll, they just won't germinate. So my spacing in between the rows, I do about a 14, 16 inch spacing in between the rows. And then I plant my carrots pretty dense because I do have a really good fertility, um, but I don't, I don't want them too dense. It's kind of a catch-22. You get them too dense, you get small carrots. It takes a long time to harvest and process. Uh, you get, you know, so I'll, I actually uh, plant at a higher density than most farmers recommend, um, but it uh, allows me to get a, a good yield. I get good, 
good um, I still get good size out of them because I get a, a allow for the the 16 inch spacing between the rows and what are some of your favorite varieties or ones that you might recommend to the home gardener that aspires to become as good as you are at raising some carrots well I won't give away the variety that I grow because one of the, some of my competitors will watch this and they're gonna see if I slip my tongue and then they're gonna steal my variety that ain't gonna happen <laughs> oh yeah they will um, but I'll, uh, but I will tell everyone that uh, uh, the scarlet nantase varieties are always the sweetest most tender the best the best eating quality carrot you're gonna find anything in a star scarlet nantase family all right and um, you mentioned something here earlier and that is when you get a carrot that's uh, hairy or lots of external root fiber that's on it versus more smooth or split and those are common problems I've had them I know of other gardeners have had them and uh, what are some of the tips you can give to our, our viewers that would say this is how you avoid that happening um, you know most splitting is caused by nitrogen problems uh, just having too much too much available nitrogen right off um, that's generally most people's problem with with hairy carrots or, or split roots Hairy roots also happen if people, um, if you don't have uh, fine tilled soil or you're not watering them enough. Let me ask you this, as far as the top foliage, uh, you said that the early on, it's gonna put out a lot of foliage. It's just building stem and leaf. And then somewhere along the way, it starts to go to build root. Uh, how long, is there kind of a, uh, a time frame that that happens at the beginning where you're not gonna get anything. If you pull, pull up a carrot, you're essentially got nothing below. Uh, when does that all start to happen where it converts over to that activity? Generally about 45 days it's going to start growing, you know, going to put some size on the roots. Um, but even uh, at the 60 day mark, you start pulling them at 60 day mark and that's going to be like a baby size carrot. Um, I usually don't start harvesting until 90 days, that way I get my full size, full size carrots out of there. All right, you want to hear the inside scoop about baby carrots or what you buy in the store. Are they really baby carrots when you go and buy that bag of baby carrots? Can mm. you tell us the inside scoop here? Uh, no, that bag of baby carrots, those are full-size carrots that they've taken and chopped up and ground down into baby-sized carrots. And there you have it from Matthew out in Pyramid Farms in Chico, California. And uh, Matthew does a great job with the local markets here. Uh, he has built a great following out here in Chico. You might visit him online. Can you tell people about your website, what that website is? Uh, my website's pyramidfarms.com and then we also have uh, uh, Facebook, uh, Pyramid Farms Facebook. There we go. And there you have it from the man in the field. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from dirtfarmerjay.com. If you like the video, please like it. Or if you found something here that's helpful to you, entertaining, and you want to pass it on to someone else, please do so. Meanwhile, subscribe to our channel as well. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay with DirtFarmerJay.com.